her uncomfortable. That's gonna make her love you even more. Keep her uncomfortable. Let's go! It's your boy Andrew FAQ, and today I'm gonna be discussing five things that confident men do. I am super gassed for this one. Let's get it. So, tip number one, and this is a very important tip, is to never ask a woman twice on a date. The reason why I say this is because if you ask a woman and she airs you, she has shows her interest. And if she's not showing you interest from the from the ground up, don't not reply again. Do not do it. Because that's when she will not respect you even more. So when you're speaking to a woman on the DMs or on, 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 on pe in person and you ask her out and she gives you an excuse, leave it alone. Do not ask her twice. Have respect for yourself, guys. You need to value yourselves. No more thinking, okay, let me ask her again another date. No. If she airs you once, leave her on scene. Make her watch your stories. Make her see your lifestyle and wish that she was the girl that, she, that didn't air you. That's what you gotta be doing. No more giving girls second chances. And if she wants to come back to your life, you make her work hard. Work her work hard, because other than that, don't give her a second chance. That's it. If she didn't believe in you in the start, do not give her a chance to when she sees you start to level up, because she wasn't there from the start. Guys, when a girl in the DMs and she's trying to act like she's a, she's brand new, trying to give her, trying to make you feel like you're not, you're not on a level, listen, don't, just leave her. Leave her alone. What you do is you carry on leveling up. And the ones that showed you interest from the start, you give them the attention. Those are the ones you give attention because they saw potential in you. Don't be showing a girl, giving a girl the attention and she left you unseen for another guy. Trust me guys, do not do it. Make her, keep her there. Don't block her. Don't do that. Don't block her. Make her watch your lifestyle. Make sure see the level up. See you progress. See you getting that money. Seeing you progressing. See you getting those checks in. See you get the lifestyle, the cars, the holidays. That's where she'll be like, damn. And when she comes back, nah. Just be like, hey, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're good too. Bye. That's it. Don't give her any more than that because she don't deserve that. She want there from the start. She want there. She don't give her that lifestyle. Tip number two. Listen, guys. This one's a very, very important tip. When you're arguing or trying to have a debate with a woman, never put your hands on a woman. Let her not argue with them. And to start to raise their voice, they say, listen, have a good day, and there's the door. Do not argue with women, because it shows you're not masculine. A masculine man never argue with a woman. They, they, get, they get emotional, so you got to stay stoic. Stay in your energy, stay calm and collective. When she starts to raise her voice, they say, thank you for coming, but there's the door. Or even the minute out on the streets, they'll be like, you know what, thank you, have a good day, and there, there that's it. You're not going to see them again, that's it, done, bye. Because all she wants to do is get you out of your comfort zone and get you all irate. And before you know, you're arguing and you both look like bitches. Do not argue with no woman. You show them the door and that's it. And if, and if she wants to apologise, make her come back and apologise in a, in a lengthy way. Don't, give them, don't make it easy for them. Make them apologise because you, you're going to look stupid by arguing with them, giving them more attention, making yourself a fool. you got to stay like an alpha and stay strong, stay mentally focused on your purpose and she'll regret arguing with you. I see a lot of guys on the streets arguing with a woman and they're shouting at their woman, pointing things at the woman's face. I just shake my head, I think, no, you're doing the wrong thing. Now you look like a predator, you look crazy. Do not argue with a woman because all it's going to make you look like that you're a violent person. Listen, it's times when I was growing up and I had to learn from my mistakes. I'm not a, I was arguing with my ex-girlfriend when I was young and I realized, what the hell am I doing? This is not me, what am I arguing with you for? No, if she starts to argue with you, end the conversation, walk away, walk away and be like, have a good day, but I'm not into this back and forth arguing. Listen, stay on your purpose, guys. Do not argue with women, period. I don't want to see you guys arguing and before you know you're looking crazy in the streets. Nah, stay focused, stay on your purpose. Remember I said that. Tip number three, and this one is very, very important. Never get jealous of your woman. As a, as a confident man, if your woman's doing well, praise her. You say, you know what, you're doing good, but level up even more. If you show you're jealous, it just shows how weak you are. You show that you've got no confidence in yourself. Praise your woman, praise your girlfriend, be like, look, you're doing good. That's, that's nice, well done. But make sure you level the bar even higher. Don't stay there and be like, oh man, my woman's leveling up. Shit, what am I gonna do now? And you start acting all, 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 all nervous and stuff. She'll leave your ass for another alpha guy. Listen, always give your woman praises and make sure you set the bar even higher. 
Because women want a man that's better than them. They don't want a guy that's the same level. So you have to keep raising that bar even higher. So she'd be like, wow, my man knows how to raise the bar and he gives me compliments and praises me. Never get jealous of your woman. That's one of the, that's very important advice I'm giving right now. Because I see a lot of guys here, yeah, oh, my woman's got a better job than me. Uh, I don't know how to do this now. Bruh, she's got a better job than you. What are you going to do now? Go home and grind. Grind harder. Grind. Don't be like, oh man, she's got a better job than me and give her a hard time. Because she's looking good. She's going to the gym three times a day and she's looking more hot and sexy. Get your ass to the gym. Get your fat ass to the gym and work out. At least then you'll be like, raw, you're in shape, I'm in shape too. Yeah, don't be getting jealous. Because you listen, even when you're out and you see other you see other females and you're trying to make her jealous, don't get your girl jealous by doing that. It shows how weak you are. Show that you're confident, man. If a, if a girl's next to your girl, you'll be like, yeah. And don't even show her, don't even give her acknowledgement. It's times when they're out and I have my girl or anything and this girl's trying to get my attention. I don't give them none attention because I know where I'm, I know my value. You see it? I know where I stand, so I ain't gonna give you none of that attention. You see it? I know my value, so I look at you, I'll be like, listen, you can go over there and I'll go over there. Me, you, we don't meet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So stay, stay, stay stoic, guys. Don't be giving your girl problems, getting jealous. It, it shows the weakness in you, and you don't want to be doing that. And another thing I'll say is, if you start, if you start to act all brand new, listen, show her, like, listen, Good luck getting another guy like me. Go on, you go. <laughs> go find another guy like me. Another guy that's gonna um, take you out these places, fly you out. Listen, go find another guy like me. Once you know your value, you're hard to replace. Trust me, because I know, I know what's out there. So when the woman's saying, oh, trying to act like she, like you're nothing, <laughs> you'd be like, good luck, here's the door. Go find another guy like me, because I know what I bring to the table. <laughs> go find another guy in shape, looking good, making good money, come on, man. Don't be stupid. You gotta make sure that you bring your value up to the bar where your value is hard to replace. Trust me. Stay on your grind, guys. Get that money in. Get your body in shape, your mind right. And guess what? You'll be irreplaceable. Tip number four, guys. Never get comfortable. I have seen so many men get into a relationship with a girl, then they fall off the gym. And I'm like, what happened to you? They're like, I got into a relationship, my girl was happy how I am, was chilling, eating Netflix, and I put on weight. Listen guys, don't get comfortable. When you're in a relationship, keep that same hunger, because that's the hunger that got her attracted in the first place. Don't make her say, babe, you're looking all right. Stay like this. No, bro, no. Stay hungry, stay on your grind. That's gonna keep her in check. That's gonna keep her in check being raw. My mind is still looking good, meaning, other girls gonna find them attractive. Do not fall off the playing field. Trust me. Stay in shape. Listen. Even though you're in a relationship, act like you're single, man. Don't be like, oh, I'm in a relationship now. I wanna chill, have some, have some pies, and get a big belly. Listen. You don't wanna be that guy when you're going out and your girl is checking out another guy that's in shape. Don't be that guy. You want to stay in shape so your girl be like, my mind is hot as well. You see? It? I'm telling you now. Stay on your grind, man. Do not get comfortable. Do not get comfortable in a relationship. I know there's a lot of guys do that. Do not do it, guys. Me, I stay focused. I'm on the gym five to six days a week, sometimes even twice a day. I'm not playing around when it comes to fitness. This is a lifestyle. I'm not playing about. I want to be in shape. So when she looks at me, she's like, mm, you look sexy. I'm like, yeah, you're damn right I'm sexy because I'm working hard for this body. It, this, body didn't come, this body didn't come just by chilling at home. No effing way. I put in the hours. I put in the work. Because I know my value is based on all of these five principles. Do not make a woman get you comfortable. Because she'll, she'll tell you that, oh, I like the dad bod, bruh. She's just saying that to you so you can feel comfortable. She don't want no dad bod, bruh. She wants you in shape. But the only thing is, when you're in shape, it makes her get uncomfortable. Keep her uncomfortable. That's going to make her love you even more. Keep her uncomfortable. Do not make her feel like, you ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> If a woman ever told you that and your relationship is like, oh, uh, baby, you can go out, you're fine. But your relationship is done. Just be like, oh man, let me start again. She don't, she don't see you as a threat no more. She don't think other girls don't want you no more. <laughs> when she says that to you, just be like, oh shit, all right, yeah. Yeah, babe, it's about time I call it a day. Because <laughs> she don't see you that more. She's going to be like, baby, going out, okay. Um, all right, babe. Make her get uncomfortable because she's thinking, my man is hot. Other girls are going to take him away from you. Keep her on her toes, bro. So that means stay in the gym. Stay focused, make sure you're always in shape. And that's one thing I'll tell you. Tip number five, and this one is a very important tip. 
and it's to never lie to a woman that you are cheating. I always say be honest as as honest I mean be as honest as possible because when it comes to lying it can stab you in your back. Be honest to them. Say listen, I'm dating, I'm dating other women, but I'm open to open I'm open to a long term relationship if that happens. But make them aware that you're that you're seeing other people. When you start to lie and they find out it becomes messy. Listen guys, I've been there, done that, when made a few mistakes and it came back and it bit me in the back. So now, if I am doing that, I'll let the women know that, listen, I am seeing other girls, but I am open to something more serious if that right woman comes. Don't be lying and be like, listen, you're my only girl. I, I know these guys do that. Don't be just doing the serenade stuff. You're my only girl, you know, you're beautiful, I love you. You're the only girl in my eyes. Check the most shit, bro. Check the most shit. Don't do that. Don't do that because it will stab you in the back. Just be honest. Listen, I'm open to a serious relationship, but at the moment, I am seeing others. And that makes them even more attractive. Guess why? Because it shows that other women want you too. So now they're going to be in the best behavior to get your attention. Feel like, oh, no, you're the only girl I'm seeing. Maybe it's true, but even just tell them that, no, there's other girls that potentially are there. You keep them on their toes. Keep them thinking, man, this guy, he's valuable. Other girls want him. I want him to choose me out of these other girls. So never lie about cheating. Always stay, be honest as possible. I know you want to get the box. Guys, we all know I, I've been there. You want to get the box. You're trying to get the box. So you say anything to get the box. But listen, don't lose your value. Stay, stay consistent. Say, listen, I'm dating right now. There's others there. But if the right woman comes, I am open to that. Get more serious. I'm open to let everything go and be more serious. So always stay consistent, stay in your grind, and don't lie about cheating. That's it guys, five things to be more confident. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button and give a like to allow this video to get passed around. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time guys, let's go.